never allow people who gave up on their dreams convince you to give up on yours. I won't be led astray by the opinions of others, by those who were too scared to go after their dreams, those who lacked the courage to fight for their dream. It's not only your enemies and haters that will discourage you, but your own family and friends too. Your parents almost always want what's best for you. They talk you out of your dream because they don't want you to get hurt. They're conditioned to keep you from being hurt, going right back to when you were a baby. You are not a baby anymore. You're a man. You're a woman. You're strong. You're your own person with your own opinions. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your own decisions. You are capable of making your own choices. And you are strong enough to handle the consequences if it doesn't work out. You are big enough to handle any challenge that comes based on the decisions you make on your own. You call it truth, I call it opinion. If I wanted average, I would ask for their opinion. Please, don't get me wrong. I'm sure average is great, but average is not something I'm seeking right now. So best of luck and move along. Your truth is not my reality. Your opinion will never sway my dreams. My dreams will never be your success story. Don't expect me to say sorry, because I will never apologize for chasing my dreams, for having higher standards, for saying no when I need to, for doing everything I must do. Opinions are the cheapest commodity on earth, just like a cheap, nasty hamburger. Everyone can have one but it's best you don't digest. But I don't digest BS. See, there's a better food for your soul. And it's not found in others' opinions. It's found in your own inner voice. It's the courage inside you, the courage that has no fear of failure, no fear of opinions. It's found in following your heart, not what's best for your mom or dad, not what society says is good or bad, not what makes you look important, but what you want. Critics, doubters, haters, naysayers. They will all discourage you because they are threatened by your success. They believe that if you become successful, they will be less significant. If you become successful, they will be left behind. By you becoming more, they will become less. By you doing something with your life, it highlights the fact they have it. It's a small mind mentality insecurity. Are you going to let insecure individuals bring you down to their level? Everyone has an opinion. Usually those with a lack of skill have a louder opinion than those with talent. They say the hardest prison to escape is your own mind. Very often that is so true, mostly because our minds are exploding with the opinions of others trying to fit into this world, trying to live up to others' expectations, comparing ourselves to others, mistaking opinions for the truth. Escape that prison and live free. Live like a king and answer only to yourself. So many people never go for what they want because of the fear of others' opinions because of the fear of the word no, because of haters and naysayers. That will never be me. I refuse to listen to the voices that will never understand my dream. I refuse to listen to the opinions of those who have never and will probably never achieve anything meaningful in their own life. I know my purpose. I know my destiny. And outside voices are just meaningless distractions. I will not be swayed by the opinions of others. I will not be distracted by their opinions. I have my blinkers on, and I will not stop until I realize my true purpose. Until my dream is my reality. There's only one voice you must listen to. Deep down, you know which voice that is. 